follows enlightenment or realization enlightenment is a divine realization not revelation when the flower blossoms it realizes its innerness of this realization of the flower we can see that flower is not aware however mysteries of the unknown as beauty fragrance and splendor are released it is not divine revelation instead it is divine realization and the difference is immense indeed divine revelation means something objective it is as if god is revealed to you you see some god but you are not separate from him and he is you are separate from him and he is separate from you that's why you see you can see something only which is separate from you and there is a difference separation enlightenment is finding that there is nothing to find it is a realization that that there is nowhere to go it is an understanding that this is all life is perfect as it is enlightenment is not an achievement in this instead it is an understanding that there is nothing to achieve and nowhere to go you are already there you are already a buddha but you have forgotten this you have never been away you cannot be away from there in any way god has never been missed maybe you have forgotten that is all maybe you have fallen into sleep god is not separate from us or from existence i believe in a god who is creativity i do not believe in a god as a person instead i believe in godliness as a quality enlightenment is divine realization you realize that you are god and in realizing that you are god you realize that everything is godly only god exists and nothing else in these stones trees birds rivers mountains and the people whether they know it or not the same principle the same quality is hidden at the very center of each and every being enlightenment is becoming so full of light that you can see your own center and realize your hidden splendor or godliness then you are embodiment of the scriptural injunction isha vasimidam isha penetrates through the entire cosmos as the only cosmic energy isha means consciousness or energy that permeates through the entire universe this makes a lot of difference when you consider god separate then you are not only a puppet you can never be free natural and spontaneous how can you be free of the creator he created you and why did he create you at a certain moment not before there is eternity in the past 
and Christians say God created the world 4,000 and 4 years before. Jesus, God created the world 4,004 years before Jesus Christ. It must be 1st January, obviously. But what has he been doing until then? Just sitting and doing nothing for the whole of eternity? And then suddenly he creates this world. Not a great idea either. In any way, in six days, <coughs> God created the world and sixth day, God got tired so he rested. He has been resting since then. This is indeed a strange tiredness and it seems to be whimsical that suddenly he decided to create the world. Science has already proved that the existence is much older than 6,000 years. Therefore, you cannot depend on such a whimsical God. Tomorrow he may decide it is enough and decides to destroy it. What can you do? With a God who is a creator, you are just in the hands of somebody else who can make you or mutilate you. Then your freedom, your individuality are both meaningless. Patrick Nietzsche is right to say God is dead and now man is free. He is putting two things together. His insight, God is dead and now man is free. With God alive, man cannot be free. We depend on him. It is wrong to say God is dead because God is not an object outside existence. He is not a creator. Instead, he is the innermost reality of existence. The creator is creativity. He is eternal. He has always been here now and he will always be here now. He is the creator is the creativity. Creativity is the manifestation manifestation of God and God is the unmanifest creation. He has always been here now and he will always be here now. Then Nietzsche is wrong to say God is dead. When something is eternal, it is beyond both birth and death. Nobody has created so something which is not been which has not been created how can it be destroyed the process of creation did not end in 6 days it is still going on and it is an ongoing process this is what science calls at evolution but god has to be put inside it not outside when you put God outside, the world becomes dead and God becomes dictator. God inside, part of existence, makes the whole life alive. God is the essential principle, everything vi vibrant and pulsating. Then God is no longer a danger. <laughs> All those who consider enlightenment as divine revelation may have simply dreamt about it or have been hallucinating. It was an illusion and 
nothing else. Enlightenment cannot be a revolution. It is a realization that I am just not a mortal. A realization that I am not just a mortal. I am not material either. Instead, I am divine. Deep within my heart, God is alive. Godliness manifests. And what is happening in me is happening in everyone else as well. The existential energy that pulsates within me permeates through the entire cosmos, sentient and insentient. This is a realization. There is a difference between one who is enlightened <coughs> and the other who knows about enlightenment. The enlightened one has recognized his inner being. That is why he is enlightened, because he has realized it. And the others are still fast asleep, but there is no qualitative difference. Those who are asleep, they may, they may be awake tomorrow or any time. And in this eternity, it does not matter whether you wake up today or tomorrow. It does not matter at all. You can wake up early in the morning or late in the morning. Eternity is available to you. You are free to choose when to wake up. You are free to choose if you want to have a little longer sleep, then turn over, pull the blanket up and enjoy the sleep a little longer because it is God who is enjoying it. Certainly one day you will have to wake up. Do not be worried. There is no need to disturb God if he wants to sleep a little longer. And sooner or later you will wake up. Because how long can you remain asleep? One day you have to wake up. One day you will have to wake up. Enough for now.